and I'm really pleased to welcome you to our little preview of the World Spa and Wellness Convention. I'm Mark Maloney, I'm the MD of Professional Beauty Group, but I'd like you in to, to introduce you to our co-host, Jean-Guy de Gabriac, boss of the World Wellness Weekend, who's spent a lot of time with our team on putting this program together. Jean-Guy, welcome. What would you like to say about World Spa and Wellness? Bonjour, Marc. It's such a pleasure to, to be uh, working on this convention with you and with your team again. Um, it's the seventh year in a row that we are working on a program, always wanting to bring speakers from around the world. Um, so seven years in partnership with a Frenchman, and we've never had a fight yet, Jean-Guy. There's something wrong. Absolutely. And Brexit has happened, and so many things have happened, and, and COVID has happened, and we never, you know... We're still there, like an old couple. But th thank you so much for, for your trust and, and for you know having me uh, partner with your team. It's, it's always such a pleasure to, to, to have them. Um, this is what I'm looking for, this. As you can see in, in my background, there's a whole bunch of uh, conferences that I've attended uh, for the past 20 years. Uh, some that we've organized together in London, in Dubai, in Phuket, uh, others that I've attended and met speakers that we are bringing to London, some from the different summits, different conventions. You, Mark, with your vision, with your team, and with my assistance, we're bringing again to London after such a long time of being speaking on Zoom, speaking on Skype, speaking on Google Meets, on on blue jeans or whatever we will be meeting face to face and this is what people want to have around their neck yes a mask yes uh, res respectfully um, um, distance you know uh, no social distance but respectfully distance we want to have that badge and we want to be able to meet each other because what what i really enjoy with the world spine wellness convention is that we have great content on stage but we have great people in the room, in the audience, also ready to ask questions, to engage very respectfully with the speakers. And it's buzzing with information in the corridors, um, not just to go and see the vendors, meet innovations, discover new products, but also to exchange on uh, the latest best practices, the latest novelties. So we have a lot coming on October 17 and 18. Your question was very short. My answer was longer, but you can feel the excitement. No, I mean, indeed. I think you touch on a great point that we've more missed is that learning from each other. Um, and I, we get that sense of people really want to come together. You can, you can see the whites of people's eyes. You can feel their reaction and you can exchange war stories and and also tips for the future face to face i'm i'm particularly pleased that this year we've actually we've got our panels our key we've got keynotes and we've got in-depth work workshops for the first time so i i i think we it's really good the balance there and we'll, we'll detail some of those later i mean for one of the keynotes um lady called strides and bevan which i'm I'm not sure that our audience will know, but she worked for nine years for a very senior position at Facebook. And to bring her in and talk about social media marketing that we've got uh, on a keynote, I think that's a little angle that will bring people outside the industry to share their knowledge. Um, and just to touch on the COVID, everybody coming into the venue will be asked for either a, a COVID test, lateral flow, or, or PCR, or to show, or to show their vaccination, but once inside, masks are, are voluntary. So it'd be a COVID secure in, environment, and there's fogging and there's all sorts of precautions. But it is a great atmosphere for networking. Um, and I, I just want to touch on what some of the sponsors said because we sit sat down, as you know, Gary Ainey and Lemmy are arch rivals, but they were saying to me. With, in fact, Elemis and Matrix, listen, this is a COVID year. People's finance have been shot. We want to make this as reasonable a cost as possible. They really all came together, which was great. And they said, look, we need to dramatically cut the rate so that people can afford to pay from their own budgets. And also, 
that the, the spas and hotels can afford to send their teams, particularly to the workshops. There's some great content. So it's, it's only 120, 120, including the VAT. So that's a dramatic cost reduction. We're not selling it on cost. Obviously, it's the value that you get. But the, the sponsors, I, they need credit for that because they really got together and pushed that away. Um, I'm also very pleased of the international level. This is, you know, we, we happen to be in London um, and you mentioned Brexit, but despite Brexit, it's, I think over half the speakers are international and many are there and traveling directly to London from all over um, the Europe. And we've also got a, um, uh, the workshop, Neil Orve is coming from Dubai, one of the speakers coming from Canada. So I'm, I'm really pleased at the international um, nature of this. Um, what are the what what are your highlights in terms of the content, Jongi? Uh, I'm I'm super pleased with the with the panels because it's always great to have people with uh, sharing experiences, cross um, cross fertilizing each other. I've I've always put the emphasis on the speakers that they do not come and deliver a speech they've already done. I mean, this is uncharted territory. This is un, uncharted water that we're we're sailing on. So it has to be new. It has to be fresh, not just for panelists to share with the audience, but also for them among themselves to learn things and, and they can learn also from the audience. I'm, I'm super pleased with, uh, you know, you, you mentioned the keynote speakers, Strazen is coming. Uh, we have JP de Villiers, who has a gripping story to tell. Um, two years ago, he had a, um, a record to break. He, he was on his bike, healthy, um, tremendously, uh, incredibly healthy, and he was hit and run by a drunk driver, left half dead uh, on the side of the road, and he will tell us about his recovery, um, and and his message of resilience is is amazing through self mastery. We have Jared Weiner who will be joining us. Um, he'll be on Zoom. But he is one of the amazing speakers I met at the Global um, Spa, the, the Global Wellness Summit, uh, a few years back, and he promised me one day, if if you need advice on how to lead in times of uncertainty, prepare for an evolving uh, future, call me up, and I'll be there. And there are so many best practices and and mind bombs. He's he's the one that I refer to as the mind bomber. He's throwing things and people say, what, wait, what, did it just say that? Yes, because we need to think out of the box and he's, he will definitely do that. And Pat Perdue is a gem coming all the way from Canada. He is uh, serving with the leading spas of Canada. He has also uh, a very well-known uh, brand helping with the guest experience and increasing the average spend in times of COVID. Brilliant. And Mark, for the first year ever, you agreed that sessions could be a little longer than 50 minutes or an hour, and that we would have as many speakers as we could. You agreed on over an hour and 30 minutes so that we can dive deep, as you said, with the workshops. And for that, if I had a hat, I would take and it I think off. the workshops is, are, are great. And I think what we're trying to do, because you know, this is always, we try and get our speakers to dive down and distill, not to go on and on, but to dive down and distill. And, but also we've left space this year for our delegates to chat and share their experiences because we often learn so much from them. I mean, I'll let you talk a little bit of, about the workshops, but I particularly, as, as a case in point, the very first session on the, at 10 o'clock, the spread of, of um, speakers, Dave Courtine of Imagine Spa, I mean, Mosaic, he is very much, rolling up his sleeves on the business, on the money, it's his money. And then you've got Andrew Gibson, who, who has so much experience from the corporate side. And then of course, from overseas in, in Vienna, Katarina Ferreira um, and, and from Vienna. And then a, again, a relatively small spa boutique from Terry Taylor. So a complete mix of cultures from, of avenues there and, and really trying again We've learned so much since COVID. We're not talking about the past, but what can we learn from the future? And I think that's our whole theme here. As, and to reach out to the spa director, the owner, the manager, and more senior staff, um, I think it's, it's valuable that we all reconnect. Agreed, agreed. The, the ambition is really to raise the bar in 
what he said. I mean, you coined the phrase, the speakers speak less to say more. And we have a given time and they need to get to the, to the hard core of, of what they have to share, not because it's been written in a, in a magazine before or, or it's something that you can learn in a, in a program, you know, experiences you learn from life. Uh, there are things you learn with your head and things you learn with your feet going the way. And, and this is going to be um, a lifesaver, I believe, for a lot of people to, to see how others are finding opportunities in the times we, we have. So that's um, a lot of cross uh, fertilization from our from our different speakers. But you did mention, and I know we we don't want to 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 you know to babble for for long hours in in, in this uh, short segment. The the workshops are going to be invaluable with Lindsay Madonado, who for a long time has been serving with uh, the um, upper scale brands of Accor, um, with uh, Fairmount Raffles. She she's almost known as the KPI whisperer. You know, she she knows how to find the key information and also not just calculate them, but what can you learn from them? How can you use them? So Nalu Baroy is going to bring in the, the wellness as a, as the, a key factor from her book, The Wellness Asset. Emma Pridding. Uh, the spa director of Cardin Park, uh, but also as a board member of the UK uh, Spa Association will be bringing a lot. And when it comes to effective leadership and communication, I mean, you, you mentioned him, Neil Orve, he'll be coming straight from Dubai. He has been a keynote several times. He organized a workshop a few years ago. He's back. We have Hans Peter Veit, who is one of the um, uh, key figures of the spa industry in Germany and now in Switzerland with the uh, Bad Hagats, and we have Finlay Anderson, the area spa director of IAG. We have we have heavyweights there, ready to share, ready to speak during the session, but also available in the alleys as you meet them. Great um, opportunity. And Finlay to is a finalist in uh, our professional beauty world. I think spa leader. Um, I was told I, I didn't sit in on the judging, but the judges reported that it's so tight. They, um, it is, it is separated. I think the four or five finalists. It's so tight as to who will win on on, on that one. So there, there, there's a lot of discussion. I mean, they said that the the entries this year, surprisingly, particularly, are amongst the highest they've ever had. But I, I digress. I should say also, of course, that the the convention still has its very much its bespoke um, convention lounge to facilitate network networking and of course it takes place alongside professional beauty which I'm also pleased that the vast majority of brands despite this COVID year are supporting their industry they're very keen to get and reconnect face to face so the show will be a bit smaller but only 20 percent which is not bad we're, we're relatively pleased with that um, which have a follow you know, affords wider aisles and a perhaps more spacious environment. But we're, we're pleased that we'll be hitting and all the decent brands, particularly on the skincare and equipment side are, are, are there. So very pleased with, with that. Well done you and, and well done for, to your team because um, I mean, the COVID has been a, a great disruptor, shrinking businesses, uh, putting people um, you know, out of business or temporarily out of business and now trying to find how to way to scramble. Others have found amazing opportunities. And in the business of uh, organizing live events, Mark, with the many events you organize, to only have the professional beauty 20% less than how we knew it in 2019, it's remarkable. Well. Yes, and we're also alongside the, which won't really interest many of you, our, our viewers this time, is it's alongside Salon International. And my team, so this is the big hair show, uh, and my team tell me that that puts us for this year, at, they say we're the largest show in the world. I'm sure that's not the, the truth. I'm sure there's probably something in China that's bigger, but we're certainly the largest in Europe this year, which we're proud about. Um, and really look forward to seeing everybody at, um, at Excel. Professional, if you go onto the professionalbeauty.co.uk, you can either sign up for the show and of course, or of course, follow the, the spa link and the World Spa and Wellness and, and sign up from the convention. Well said. Well, listen, um, Jean-Guy, you, you, people don't know, but, but si behind the 
behind the scenes, you're always giving our team, you're always coming up with new ideas. Thank you also to Evox VR Ed for her involvement and pushing it through. And really the speakers, to have so many international this year coming to London, one or two on Zoom, the vast majority in situ, in live, um, we're thrilled. I really can't wait um, to connect. So looking forward to seeing you at XL London, 17th and 18th of, of October. And thank you again, Jean-Guy. It's a pleasure, Mark. See you there. All the best, everybody.